Sword Elf from the Overhead Athletic Institute, we see a lot of guys who land in a valgus position of their knee when they come down and they're throwing. This fault can lead to a dissipation of energy where it's actually going horizontally versus towards the target. So this happens as a result of some tight adductor muscles, some tight external rotators. Sometimes people have hip involvement and they have tightness in this area. A lot of times it's due to weakness on those hip abductors, those external rotators of that lead leg, especially as they're coming down the mound. So you can see in the picture that I'm putting up here in the corner of the video, that the pitcher lands in a valgus position, meaning his knee is inside his hip and inside of his foot, basically. So. I'm going to show you two different views here. Here's the second view, and you can see from behind what kind of impact that makes. So he lands in valgus, and then his knee drives out to the side the other direction. And this was a pitcher we've worked with for a while, on and off, and he comes back to us when he's off from college, and we work on, we improve things, and he started, he felt himself migrating back towards his previous mechanics, so he sent us a video, said, hey, what's going on? And we identified a few things that he was doing with his arm that were leading to a little bit of this valgus. So we also identified with this athlete that he had a little bit of weakness in his hip abductors, and those were some of the things we sent him off with after this. So he came into our clinic a few weeks later, and we said, hey, this is what's going on. We're going to test you here. We tested. We found some weakness in his hip abductors, a little bit of lack of range of motion in his hips, so we sent him off with some mobility exercises and a few exercises that he could perform for those hip abductors. So I want to show you one of our favorites for this right now because there are things you can do with exercise as well as what you're doing in the sequencing of your throw to improve this. So I take a band, we use SFMA bands for this exercise all the time, and I put it either just proximal or just distal to the knee, above or below basically. I'm going to have it lined up with my knee here, I'm going to go down into a lunge, and then I'm going to pulse up into a hamstring extension where I'm stretching my hamstring, working my quad. So I can do fast, where I'm kind of going quick, or where you'll really improve on this exercise is if you do a static hold at the bottom, pulse forward, pulse back, and then up. So a little advanced variation here, because I want to work that, work those lateral hip muscles and more hip flexion, less hip flexion, with more tension on the quad and less tension on the quad because that's what's gonna happen when I actually throw. They're gonna have to go from flexed at the knee to extended at the knee and increase hip flexion at the very end of the throw, pushing back up. So very, very good exercise. I'll do it from that direction and then I'll do semi or 45 degree valgus stress so it's a 45 degree where I'm actually having to push back and it's more quadricep here, but less valgus. So less, less lateral hip musculature working, less glute med, less glute min. And then I can do the other way too. This will make it a little easier, but a little bit less stable. So it'll make you want to fall over this way and you're gonna to have to stabilize with your anterior hip, your iliopsoas muscles on the opposite side, hip flexors. So just wanted to show you that exercise today. I'm gonna to show you an example of what it should look as, like as well. I wanna show you one of the athletes that we've been working with here at the OAI for the last few weeks. And you can see how when he lands, his knee isn't landing in a position like this, it's like this. This athlete had a lot of flexibility. We had to work a lot on his arm action, what he was doing when he was sequencing his throw when he was ending up out and around like this. So it's important that you work on exercise like this, some of the other hip exercises we've shown in the past, and we'll show some more, but this one's very specific to this aspect of the throw, so I wanted to demonstrate that for you guys. And if you are doing something differently in your throw, where your arm is sequencing properly, low elbow is what we see commonly with this all the time, or an elongated lever arm where the ball's getting too far from your center of rotation, that can also lead to you landing in a valgus position because your body has to make a throw. So you have to make a throw and your body's going to make that happen. If I'm in the wrong position with my leg, it doesn't matter. I'm already here, that ball has to be thrown, so I do it. Instead of, I'm here at that same point, 
Now my hips can open, now I can land, and then I can come through. The ball's in a better spot where I've approximated my lever arms. So I wanted to touch on that today, guys. If you're not yet, make sure to follow our channel. Posting videos every Wednesday. Comment below if you like this exercise. If you're gonna use it, let us know how it works. Try that little hold at the end range, that static hold where you're holding down there for five or 10 seconds. You'll feel some burn in the outside of your hip and that's what we want. So we'll see you in the next video, guys.